Good readings and salutations everyone, Amadeus484 here, and welcome back to another episode of Neverwinter Nights. Anyways, let's go and take care of business over here. <sighs> Anyways, sorry uh, that this video is being uploaded a bit later than normal, uh, mostly because of the fact that uh, I had to do some more Borderlands recording with Little Gamer Halley. Plus the fact that I had some uh, stuff that I had to take care of. Okay, come on. I'm sure you can die. I've seen you do it several times. See? There. And then... Oi! Follow! Don't go chasing after the enemies. You know what? Here, have you set to guard me. Hopefully that way you will not go aggroing enemies. Sheesh. I'll kill you. Uh, no can do. What do you mean no can do? You can't just guard me? Uh-oh, um... Well, crap. Okay, oh, wrong way. Open up map. Oops, no. Guard me. And there you are again. Will you die easily once more? I hope so. <clears throat> yes, you will. Good. Now, let's take care of you because I knew that you were going to wake up. Glad you did. Kinda, sorta. And thank you for being the only one. Oh. The other one did aggro as well. Crap. Okay. Heal. Or not. Balls. No, not save. Definitely not save. <sighs> Let's try that again. Okay, good, good. Hi, Minagon. Thank you. Very good. And let's take out this gargoyle. I said let's take out this gargoyle. Thank you. And then... Oh, you're just going to go and uh, disable that trap. Okay. Thank you. And let's save this time. That would make things just that much faster. Let me get gargoyle skull. Yep. Hi. Oi. Tommy. Okay, good. The Minigun is... Oh, it now sees us. Crap. Uh-oh. Tommy. Um, here. Crap. Well, that's why we saved. Right over here. Now let's bless. Oi! I said let's bless. Thank you. Now, come on, Bellor. Ah, crap. 
Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's blast first. Then we go and uh, fight. And fortunately, we do have the Minigon being here uh, aggroed first. Come on, get us out of the uh, stun, please. At least the gargoyle is not really doing that well and uh, killing us. Tommy, attack near. Thank you. Oh, uh, yes, yes. We're looking a bit better. Not great, but a bit better. Uh oh. Darn. I was hoping that the battle horde did not aggro so that we can rest. But no. Here, Tommy, have another potion. Have a heal, please. There we go. Good, good. Now, I'm guessing this is going to be a battle axe. Yep, or a great axe, I mean. And this is just going to be full plate and great sword. Woo. Well, at least, uh, we've killed all of the enemies here. Dummy, you know what to do. Thank you. And this helmet oh, again. Done. 37 gold. And what's in this chest? Oh, I'm going out of snail space here. Much better. Scroll chest, huh? History scroll, history scroll, and minor holy trap kit. Uh, the alien text on this ancient scroll swims before your eyes for before forming into a language you can understand. The creator race formed a group of slaves to protect them through the Ice Age. Uh, blah blah blah. Farron was once ruled by a cruel and ancient race known as the Creators who were left in stasis during the Great Ice Age. Hmm, interesting. Wonder if that's going to be uh, useful for the archaeologists. In fact, you know what? That, If I would say so, that would be evidence enough of there being a uh, Creator race. And I already checked that chest. Just wanted to double check. Okay. So let's go into this main area. Yes, yes. Uh, can't believe it is so late today. Definitely not going to be doing that well tomorrow. But then again, that pretty much goes without saying, with how uh, little sleep I'll be getting. Okay. Let's just go on over here. Come on. Oi. Thank you. Now let's go through this door that was being guarded by the golem. Or maybe there's another Minogon. Hi, Minogon. Uh, you surprised me. Okay, good, good. You probably just have a great axe face wall and we've got creator sorcerers 
So lovely. You dare disturb us, my dear. Oh boy, um, you know what? Eight potions. Ew. Yeah. Should have saved earlier. But I did not expect there to have been uh, that many baddies. I expected maybe another golem. Not creators. And load it up again. Because, of course... You know what? Let's just break this gargoyle. I said let's... Thank you. Make sure that we do not do that badly. Right? Right? Oi, fall out, dummy. Follow Tommy. Ah, oh, great. They're both aggroed again. Uh. Sorry, bit of tiredness set in. Yes, woohoo indeed. You know what, Tommy? Come over here. I'm over here, Tommy. Tommy. Yes. Right here. Stand ground. Okay, aid potion. I'll kill you. You'll see. Now. Kill. Okay. Doing a bit better this time. Yes. Without Tommy around, it is definitely easier. Not like immensely, but. Yeah. It is good to have Tommy around because of uh, the whole picking locks thing. But yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes it would just be easier without you. Hate to say it, man, but it's true. Okay. Actually, no, let's not rest. Thought about it, but you know what? We still have this uh, aid potion taking care of us. And we just have this golem, or not the golem, but Minagon, to take care of. Oh, did I check this chest last time? I feel like we did not. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Any trap here? Anything? I'll take that as a yes. Any traps in the pile of skulls? No. Okay, now these two chests are definitely trapped. You are not trapped, not locked, nothing. Uh, it's done. Yes, yes, and we've already read it, but let's just do so. Another topaz. And a bracer, huh? Bracers of locking grip. 
Discipline plus eight and ambidextry? Ah. Well. That. Yeah. And this is just Perry plus three, huh? Uh, you know, if we come across another plus one longsword, I think I'm going to be using those bracers. Okay, that's not the correct one. That's not the correct one. Which means it has to be you, the one that uh, uh, is so well oh, camouflaged. This is too much to carry. How about now? Still too much to carry? No? Good. Okay. Come on. Let's don't be a, an idiot. That would be kind of stupid of us. Now, this is going to be tough, I'd say. Do you think there would be a way for us to kind of aggro them one at a time? Like I did with the, uh, those two creatures back there? Because if so, that would be a good idea of us. Hey, Minigon. The battle is on! Yeah, yeah, let's just injure you. Let's injure you to death, okay? There we go. Perfect, perfect. Now. Let's rest. Because resting. Thank you, Tommy. Let's just take a knee. Okay, good. Done resting. Now, let's save. And, oh, what should we do? do. Oh, I have a bark skin. There we go. And, yeah. Uh, challenging, eh? Tommy, follow here. A little bit too close. Thank you. Now, let's see if we can. Ah, there you guys are. Oh, wait, no, that's not you guys. Um. That was painful. I won't lie. Okay, bless. Bark skin. Is there anything else that would be of use? Um, hmm. We cannot use this scroll, can we? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, you know what? Let's try something else. Uh... 
Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the lightning arrows. The battle is on! Okay. Well, we are definitely entering him. Wait. Okay, okay. No. Okay, okay. Now. Right through a wall, eh? Tommy, follow. Thank you. Okay, okay. You know what, Tommy? No. No, wait. Oh, crap. Good. Now. Let's go once again do that. Oi. Move you down here. Thank you. And let's just take care of that dire bow. Or. Oi, follow. Okay, and we are down to not very many. So you know what? Let's just melee. Well, that was less hard than expected. And I leveled up. Woohoo! Oh, let's go and rest. Because I'm sure that we do not need a whole lot left. <sighs> yeah. Level up. Hmm. We have three things needed. There are three points. Go with the point of lore. And, huh. Heal. Sounds good. <clears throat> Anyone else? No, does not look like. Oh, wait. There's another creator sorcerer, but you know what? There's only one. <clears throat> um, okay, we are at level 10. Tommy? Did you change your outfit? What can Tommy do for you? Um, hmm. Okay then. You look different. Hi! Fagan <laughs> Peg huh? Okay. This one, where Gula Sini? I don't understand what you're saying. Posna Ekanese Tolak. There. That brute spell should enable us to convert. What? Can you understand me, mammal? Uh. Now this option is just mean. 
I'm just going to do that one. Why are you here? How does a soft, weak mammal like yourself dare to enter this room? I don't know what you're talking about. We mammals rule the world. You talk as if you just won the battle. Why aren't you afraid of me? Hmm. Yeah, let's do the first one. Such a thing cannot be. How could your slave race have risen so high? Slaves? We are nobody slaves. You talk as... Hmm. Yeah. We might no longer be in power, so you say, but... Then surely the draconic race must rule the surface as they used to rule the skies? Hmm. They don't really rule much of anything. Are you concerned about dragons? Yeah, that option uh, seems best. So the winged masters have been weakened? Excellent. Do you mean to tell me that you mammals aren't ruled by a greater race? Um. I can tell you that I'm re getting rather tired of being called a mammal. Hi, a sense of identity. You are much like the Sintigians. It didn't take long for their resistance to be broken. It should be amusing to see what becomes of your civilized manners when our race dominates yours again. What makes you think your race will dominate ours? You haven't even the slightest idea what you, of what you face. You will learn in time. Is your mind completely worn out from the effort of communicating, or do you have other questions? I have more questions. All right, mammal, I suppose I should humor your request since I did surrender. What questions would you ask of me? What are you? I am a member of a race that is highly superior to yours. Blah, 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 blah. We are masters of flesh, mind, and spirit. That doesn't answer my question. It would if your race had true intelligence, but I will speak so that one such as you can understand. We are the master race created perfect in form and mind and meant to rule the lesser races. Uh-huh. Please, continue talking uh, about that, and just remember that uh, three of your guys are all dead. We possess incredible magics, the likes of which you puny mages can only dream of. Our warriors are fearless and ne nearly unstoppable. If you're so powerful, then how was I able to defeat you? I have not been awake long. Perhaps I have simply not recovered my full strength. Be assured when my queen decides that it is time, we shall come forth and show you what real power is. I would like to ask uh, more questions. Who are you? My name is Sincillurian, though I doubt your flesh could, fleshy tongue could possibly pronounce your name. Such a noble name. I am a mage of the Kalentian Cal Order. It will mean nothing to you now once we have dominating your race again, you will learn t how great of an honor it is to have spoken with me. What makes you think your race will dominate ours? You haven't even the slightest idea of what you face. You will learn in time. Is your mind completely worn out? More questions. What are you doing here? I remember being in a dark, peaceful sleep. I thought it would never end, but my companions and I awoke when we heard a call from our queen. May her all knowing how po all powerful wisdom guide us to our glorious destiny. Uh huh. Her words whispered in my mind, communicating visions of conquest and power. Eric, the entire world would bear before us, begging for mercy and receiving none. Since awakening, we had not heard from her again, but when she speaks, we will go forth and conquer. Who is this queen? She is the Ticolotian matriarch. She has power beyond your understanding, cunning beyond belief. You will fall to her as all have fallen before. This is all I will tell of you. Um, I'm not talking to you anymore. Get out of my sight. As if I would turn tail and flee from a mammal like you, you have given me enough time to recover. You're still injured. At least we now have a name of these guys, and he is now dead. Too bad. I grew rather fond of him. I think I'll name him posthumously Bob. Oop, copper necklace. Dread Crane Morag. And an Elf Wisdom. Complete History of the Creator Runes. Alexandrite. And a scroll chest containing... Initiates Primer oh, and a Gold Piece. 
This is too much to carry. Right, right. Um, you know what? How much space do we still have left in here? Not a whole lot, but hopefully enough. Okay, just barely enough, but you know what? Let's throw the books or no, throw the bow in here as well. Excellent. And what's this pressure plate? Oh, the portal will return you to the surface. Yay. But it's a pressure plate. And that looks like an actual plate. Uh, leave the portal. Excellent. Woohoo, we are still alive and we are home. Ish. Anyways, let's just head to the exit. And then say our farewells. Did we check this chest? We must have. Okay. Ah, that was a good quest, if I do say so myself. But I think, like all good things, this episode must come to an end. So, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, or whatever you want. And, as usual, this is Omdeus44 signing out, wishing you a wonderful day, and happy gaming.